Hi guys, how are we? Welcome back to my channel. Why was that literally like the weirdest intro ever? Um, anyways, I'm back today with another vlog. Back from America now, obviously. I'm in my usual background. I thought it'd be fun to film a little vlog of the next couple of days of my life. Today's Thursday. I've actually just quickly gotten ready i'm going to my friend verity's birthday lunch soon i'm gonna leave in like 10 15 minutes i'm really excited to see all the girls i feel like all of us haven't been together in so long so i'm really excited to see all of them so i've just got the last finishing touches to do now and then i'm gonna head off so this is what i'm wearing today the set is from white fox i posted this on my stories the other day but it's super cute lighting in my bathroom absolutely sucks and i've literally just got you guys sitting on top of my body mist but that's all right. I wanted to show you guys the moisturizer I've been using recently. Okay, it looks like I've barely used any, but I got like the smaller travel size one that's like this big and I was using it my whole LA trip. So this is now my new go-to moisturizer for when I'm getting content or if I have like a special event on. It's the Kiehl's, um, I didn't even say what it is. Kiehl's Creme de Corps moisturizer and it's very expensive i heard a lot about it like on social media but i just never bought the bullet because i was like um i'm not spending like a hundred dollars on a moisturizer but i finally did and i 100 percent get the hype with it it really just makes your skin look so nice and glowy without being like greasy or anything it just melts into your skin so nicely look at that glow yeah i definitely don't use this every day i'll only use it if i'm getting content that day or if i have an event on other than that on like a day-to-day -day basis i'll just use my regular you know vaseline one sorry about the lighting in here as well okay i need to chuck some earrings on guys i'm so unorganized today um but whatever i'm gonna wear these thicker hoops today i think these are actually from a brand called zafino and this is from emma's collab with them so i'm gonna wear them oh my god my hands are like so slippery from the lotion i don't even know what bag or shoes i'm gonna wear like i really just want to wear flats i'm also gonna go to pack fair after so i think i'm definitely just gonna wear flats i am bringing an extra dress in the car with me because i am absolutely not walking around pack fair dressed up like this with my whole stomach out i guess i'm just gonna wear my white and there's flats this Bottega bag because i haven't actually used it yet perfume of the day kayali pistachio yum pistachio gelato it definitely does not smell like pistachio gelato but it's the yummiest sweet smell in the world. Hi everyone! Hey. Happy birthday! Thank you. Thank you. Whoa, you look amazing. amazing. What about Arabella? Arabella? Arabella's not coming. Um, yeah, I think it's just M. That's all, I'll just take this. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. Sparkling still for all the tap water. Don't act like you don't know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I really like this. I'm just heading to pack fair now. I just dropped Tash home. First of all, I need to fix my lips. I need to change my dress. And I'm just heading there because I need to get, well, I need to go to Ajaz and pick up some new towels and some new bed linen for summer. They're having like a 40% off linen lovers sale, which is like their membership or whatever you call it. Like when you sign up for their subscription service. Anyway, you guys know what I mean. So they're having 40% off until tomorrow. I won't be able to go tomorrow because I'm going to Brisbane to get my hair done. And then I'm also going to pick up Sophia's birthday present as well. We were in Victoria's Secret the other day and she loved one of the robe sets. So I think I'm just going to get her that. I'm also going to get her like some little jewelry as well. And maybe like a little Victoria's Secret set. I feel like you can't really go wrong. Okay, dress is on. I feel like I need to give my hair. It's an absolute hot mess. So definitely need to give her a bit of a brush. Cute. And then rather than putting gloss on, I'm just going to put my lip balm on because I don't want to look that extra walking around the shots. But yeah, 
anyways, let's go. I don't know if I should take my earrings off. I may as well just leave them on. They're actually really comfy, considering they are, like... Okay, you guys would be so much better like up here. Problem is, they can't all stay there. So I just managed to spend almost a thousand dollars in like just over an just over an hour. But I may as well just show you guys everything that I got while I'm in the car now. So I popped in a Zara last, and I saw this skirt, which I love. I don't really love that you can see like the actual shorts at the back but I really liked how they looked at the front and I do wear this out I'll probably just wear it to like lunch or something so you won't even really be seeing the back mark the size that I tried on in the clips that I'm going to insert in was a size small so I decided to get the extra small just because I felt like it was a little bit too big even when I wore it low waist so I got the extra small in that I'm hoping it fits nice around the bum area I really like that it's like a grayish kind of white color and then I also got that white top that I tried on with it I wouldn't wear these together I'd probably wear this top either with like low waist jeans or some low waist white linen trousers I also did try it on in the dress version but I just feel like this is a bit more wearable and I just have so many dresses so I've really been trying to get like a lot more tops that I can kind of just like wear around and chuck on just for my more casual day so I got those two from Zara I don't even know where to move on to now Next, I guess we'll do uh, Victoria's Secret. I picked up two of those pink robes that I showed you guys. I got one for me and one for Sophia for her birthday. I feel like I just need like a cute robe for when I'm getting ready and when I'm filming. So I got that. And then I saw this, which I didn't actually have any like testers out. So I couldn't smell it and there's a cap. So I might smell it now. This is from the pink range and it's just the basic vanilla body lotion. But it was the last one there so I thought it must smell good. I actually really like the scent of that. I really love like strong, sickly sweet vanilla scented lotions and um, sprays. So yeah, I got this. It was kind of like an impulse buy, but I'm glad that I got it because it actually smells really, really nice. And I popped into Lush. I haven't gone in there in forever, but when I was walking past, they had this whole display of like all these Snow Fairy scented products. And all I've really seen them do with Snow Fairy in the past is like body lotion, body conditioner, obviously the soap. And this year they had like lip masks, um, sorry, like lip balm. They had candles, like they just had everything snow fairy in that shop so i did pick up a couple of things got two of the snow fairy lip masks i got one for sophia for her birthday and one for me i also picked up a little baby shower gel too for her birthday this is like one of my favorite scents and then lastly i also picked up the deep sleep what is this bath bomb i don't know i don't actually have like many bath bombs and i haven't even used my bath to have a normal bath in since i moved in so i got that just for when i want to walked past um dusk on my way to adairs and i saw they had the streets paddle pop collab she had the golden gate time as well um 
But yeah, they had a collab with them and I smelled all of them. They all smelled delicious, but I really love chocolate scented like candles and all that kind of thing. They did actually also have this in the candle version, but I decided to pick it up in the oil just because I feel like, I don't know, the scents are a lot stronger when you use oils in diffusers. So I picked this up. I love the strong chocolate smell. So I'll definitely be using this at some point over the weekend or maybe even tonight if I remember last but not least tell me why i somehow ended up with this bag from adairs the lady was like oh do you want one of our bags for a dollar 80 and i was like yeah but i didn't realize she meant like one of these reusable bags so i ended up with a little grandma reusable bag i would have preferred just the normal reusable adairs bag but, you know that's fine we're rolling with a grandma bag today i showed you guys the bed sheets and the or the quilt cover and the pillowcases that i got but I also decided to pick up some nude towels and hand towels as well. Kind of like in the same nudish kind of color. And these are super soft and really, really nice. So I got the bigger size bath towel for James, obviously. And then just a smaller, regular size for me. And then this is the bed sheets that I got. That's what they look like. So it's kind of like a naturally like nudish color. And then we have the white fluffy parts over the top. Which I find with my bed because it's not like... My bed head isn't white white, it's like kind of like a creamy off-white colour. So sometimes when I put really white sheets on top, it just looks too strong and it just doesn't look good together. So I thought I'd try that kind of colour out and see how that looks and see how I like it. But yeah, I just needed new sheets and I thought, and towels actually. So I thought that the sale would be a good time to pick that up because I actually hate spending money on like homeware. I'm gonna head home now, guys. I honestly don't think I'm really doing much tonight, so I might just pick the vlog back up in the morning. am on friday as you guys saw this morning i went and took boo for a quick little walk and now i'm just at the gym or the car park i'm gonna be doing the first day of my new move with us workout plan i'm doing the what's it called actually i am doing the build a booty program i was meant to start it on monday but i was on the wrong plan so i ended up just doing like the completely wrong workout she did like a trial run of this program and it was really really hard i actually found it a little bit too difficult there's a lot there i'm just gonna kind of do it like in my own pace and do as much as i can i pretty much haven't really trained in like since may before we went to europe Can I please get a grande um, ice white mocha, please? A grande ice white chocolate mocha. Yep. Can I get that on lactose free milk? On lactose free? Yep. I'll also get one pump of hazelnut. Grande ice white chocolate mocha with one pump of hazelnut. Yeah. Do you want the whipped cream? Uh, no, thank you. All good. Anything else? Can I also get vanilla sweet cream cold foam on that? With vanilla sweet cream cold foam. Yep, and caramel, just like caramel on top too, please. And with the caramel sauce as well. Yeah. That's all. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks. My order is like so complicated. I'm so hungry, but they don't have like any breakfast things here. I'm just gonna drink this, and then as soon as I get there, I'm gonna order some like Guzman or something. Um, get some protein in me. But all I know is that I need a coffee. I probably should have even got the venti size but you know here we are i don't even know what we're doing today she said that she might need to touch up my color but i honestly think we'll just do that next time around i'm in every month every four weeks because i need to like get my tapes taken up every four weeks my hair just goes so fast and if you don't get them taken up they kind of like start like 
curling like outwards and you can see them and stuff so yeah i really need to make sure i keep on top of that every four weeks otherwise yeah my hair just grows so quick all right we're gonna listen to an alex earl podcast i haven't listened to any but i did see on tiktok like little snippets of her podcast she seems super chill so i might like her podcast okay, bye, bye. Thank, you. thank you thanks bye and that was honestly one of the best breakfasts i've had in terms of like a high calorie you know more cheap meal breakfast definitely not somewhere i'd go if i wanted like a healthy you know like avo and toast vibe but for the weeks where i want like a good cheap meal bacon and egg burger i mean like sandwich whatever it was that i got or like the french toast that we got amazing actually i showed you guys like the um cake, like all the cakes they had decided to get a little takeaway as well i got the i'll turn my camera around this is the name of the cafe as well so you guys can screenshot that it's in southport and i feel like i shared something on my instagram and i'm sharing something here because it was honestly so dead in there and it made me so sad because i'm like this is actually good food i just got this strawberry ghetto cake which this kind of cake is my favorite like i love the layers of cream and strawberry and then the just normal vanilla layer that's my favorite kind of cake um yeah thanks james just chuck your tissue there hun um but i also got some boldak carbonara noodles as well i'm gonna have one of those tonight for dinner with my cake and then ooh, and then i went to the filipino shop and i got some chips i love these ones and i also got i haven't tried this it's pancit canton which is like filipino noodles but i haven't tried this brand or this range it says extra big this is the chili mansi flavor you guys don't know in the philippines calamansi is like it's like their version of like lemon or lime if you guys can see it's this really tiny little um kind of like limey things i was actually going to close out the vlog like in the last clip that you guys saw but i thought why not just vlog today? I'm going to Sydney tomorrow, so I'm just going to go like do a little bit of a shop. I'm going to get my hair washed at 11. I've been getting my hair washed so much lately that I feel like I'm just used to getting it washed and now I keep getting it washed. I feel like it just looks so much better when someone else does it and I just have so much hair that when I'm like trying to blow dry my own hair, I'm actually like sweating trying to blow dry my own hair in my bathroom. Also got to get some last minute things for the trip. Like I've got to find a black mini skirt to wear under a dress that I'm wearing um to dinner on Friday night in Sydney and now James is making me go to like a staff event that he's having and that's for like the Melbourne Cup which honestly I've never really celebrated or done anything to do with the Melbourne Cup before but since it's all his staff going I kind of feel like I have to and his mum's going and his sister's going so yeah. I'm gonna go into the gym now. I'm gonna do all these little errands that I have to do and then go get my hair done, quickly do my makeup and head off. This guy's like literally parked right next to me and he's just staring at me filming myself. I got a new flavor in my Oxy shirt and it's actually really good. It's the kiwi strawberry one. I usually have the... Um for Supreme did have the skirt that i wanted but they just didn't have any sizes they only had like double extra small and then extra large so i guess i can try in sydney maybe i don't really know if i'm gonna have time though or i can just get something delivered to the hotel i probably should have ordered something yesterday and then it would have come to the hotel by wednesday but you know 
I honestly thought I'd find something today. I was in Glastons and I was looking funky. I was trying on the pink shirt for size because I didn't have a size 6 in the white. So yeah, that ended up fitting me perfectly. So I'm going to order that when it comes back in stock. I did end up buying the white shorts. I just tried them on over my leggings because... I was not in any position to be taking these off and putting them back on and then I did pop in a Tony Bianco and I got some shoes really happy with them I think they'll go with the dress that I'm wearing hopefully so yeah if not though I'm gonna I'll just wear something else that I have I might wear like my Louboutins or something and then I can just exchange them because I actually have really really cute shoes in there they have so many things that I like so maybe I can just exchange them for like a nice like colored pair like they actually had some nice pastel yellow ones that'll go with my yellow Bottega bag, the one that I wore to Verity's birthday the other day. I'm on my way to my hair appointment now, honestly, I probably don't even need to get my hair washed. I kind of wish that I did it tomorrow in Sydney. Like, I feel like it still looks, it actually looks really good like this. Like, I'd go to the races this afternoon with my hair like this. I'm not going to put heaps of makeup. I mean, I say that now, but I think I'm going to do more like a lighter glowier makeup rather than like a super matte one like I usually do. I don't know, I feel like this sort of looked nice but anyways i booked it now it's too late to cancel so we're just gonna go okay guys i've got to run so I want to get there at 1.30, but this is the outfit that I'm wearing. As you guys saw, I got these shoes from Tony Bianco. My dress is from Forever New. Bag is Chanel. Ooh, classy queen.